Uh, I think my story is probably the best story to tell our young friends watching your program today. Um, you know, I was born in colonialism in 1954, and I was born in a very poor family, 11 children. I am number six. I was born sleeping on the floor on a mat. Uh, we were very, very poor. But we went to schools, and my teacher, uh, most of my teachers were from Europe. They were either from England or Scotland or somewhere. And they actually told us as kids that we were not true humans. They said that you are black monkeys, your brains are not developed well, you cannot be educated properly. And I was told this as a kid. And I remember one day, my teacher, Mr. Robertson, said to me that you are retarded, you cannot learn. He told me this. He was from Scotland. And he had a class of 36 black kids. And he used to tell us all the time, I'm wasting my time trying to educate animals. And so I was very, very much uh, in, uh, oppressed by his statement, statement about yeah. me. And I went home to my mom and I told my mom, you know, uh, maybe he's right because I'm getting an F in my grades. Uh, everything is going wrong. Maybe I, maybe I am a half-breed monkey. You, you almost believed that. I almost believed it. And my mother held me by my collar, my dirty shirt. She shook me. She said, don't you ever repeat that again. You are not uneducable, you are not a monkey, you are not a black, uneducated fool, mm. you are my son, oh, yes. you are smart. Yes. And then my mother did something, she took this book that she was reading, and she turned to a chapter in the book, and she said to me, memorize that, go in that closet, memorize it. And I went in this closet and memorized the statement on the book, and the, the statement simply said, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above, far beyond all you can ever ask, think, or imagine, oh, yes. according to the power that worketh within you. Now that part got me. I was 13 years old. And I memorized that particular statement to the point where I could close the book and I could repeat it. And when I went and told my mom I could repeat it, she said, repeat it. And I yes. said, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above, far beyond all I can ever ask, think, or imagine. According to the power that works within me, she yes. said, that's my boy. That's she, my said, boy. she said, say it again. <laughs> so from that day, yeah. I decided, my, my mother says, remember, yeah. the power is not in your white teacher. Yeah. The power is in you. Yeah. It's not even in heaven, it's in you. Yeah. She said, I go to school and use the power. Mm -hmm. And I took a decision that day, I would never let a teacher teach me again. I took the algebra books, memorized all the formulas. I took the geometry book, memorized all the formulas. Why aren't you rebelling now? Ah, I refused to let a teacher teach me because I didn't trust a teacher anymore. So I decided to educate myself. In six months, my grades went from an F to an A. Oh my. Now, I became an A student because, and I'm saying it for young people, yes. sometimes young people allow other people to dictate what they should be. Right. They declared independence from other people's opinions and decided to educate myself. I became an A student and I graduated top of the school with the highest grades in the whole school at the end of the following year. When I graduated, they gave me a plaque. It says the most advanced, the most uh, progressed student. Right. I took the plaque to Mr. Robertson, my teacher, gave it to him. And I said, this is from a monkey. No, you didn't. I sure did. I might got whooping for it, but I took it. I want to remember <laughs> that monkeys can make A's. So a few years ago, I went right. to England to teach a, a seminar in yeah. London yeah. very quickly. And when I was finished, uh, I was autographing my books in the lobby in the hotel downtown London right. and an old man walks up with a cane he was shaking very much and uh, he was on the line with two of my books one of them was very old and marked up yeah. the other book was brand new I autographed the books for him I said thank you very much sir he looked at me and he wouldn't move this old man he was shaking with a cane and I said sir uh, thank you very much for coming to the seminar today yeah. he said yes I appreciate that mm. I said thank you sir there's a line behind you can you allow the others to come I can autograph their books and he just stood there looking at me and then he started to weep and he said, I used to live in the Bahamas. I said, really, where? He said, in Nassau. I said, sir, that's where I'm from. I said, what did you do in the Bahamas? He said, I was a teacher. I said, what school did you teach at? C.H. Reeves High School. I says, that's the school I went to. And then he says, you don't remember me, do you? I said, no, sir. And he said, I'm Mr. Robertson. I jumped up from my chair. I ran around the table. And I grabbed this old man. He was so sh frail and shaking. And we hugged each other. A black young man and an old white man hugging in a lobby downtown London filled with people. And he was crying. 
And he kept saying, I am so sorry. I said, Mr. Robinson, what are you sorry about? He said, your books are in our bookstores in Scotland. And I heard you were going to be in London. I took the tube and took a ferry and came all the way here because I wanted to have you know that you are my teacher. I read your books and they changed my life. I said, Mr. Robinson, you mean this half-breed, retarded monkey wrote a book that changed your life? And he, he hugged me and we wept at each other. And my point is this, young people, inside of you is an awesome author. Your teachers don't even know how good you are. Don't believe other people's opinion. God gave you birth for a reason. There's something you were born to do. And I want you to discover what you were born to do because what you were born to do is more important than what other people think you should be doing. So you don't need to wait until you are an adult to do great things. Start now. Do like David. Go kill a giant and make a name for yourself.